Welcome to Stadium Bets, everybody, on Stadium. And, uh, boys, it's the final Stadium Bets of the football season. You got Colby crying in the corner. Nate's pretty pumped because it's the Super Bowl. I'm Ben, and we got Monty, who uh, we're going to hear from at the end of this block with a fun Super Bowl bet of his own. But, gentlemen. Like two months since he's spoken. I know. We're going to see if he sounds a little different, feels a little different. Got a couple months off to, to recalibrate. Sure. His voice has gotten yes. a little deeper. Yeah, he has. He's he's becoming a man before our eyes. Um, but gentlemen, we have the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. Uh, and if you're watching it on this weekend, it's coming up on Sunday. So we're excited. We talked a little bit about it last week. If you want to see our full picks for our sides and the totals for this game, they haven't really changed much. You can go on YouTube, on the stadium YouTube. We have all the reasoning behind uh, why the sides we picked were the sides we picked and the totals and everything like that. Um, but if we just want to say some quick words, uh, some other thoughts, it's another week. Some more things have been learned about this game. Any other thoughts on the Super Bowl sides and totals? Yeah, last I'm week. scared. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. scared. You're yeah, scared? I'm terrified. Yeah, it's scary. I have. I've, I've only close. seen Still a two. handful of people say they like the 49ers, yeah. and I'm petrified. Well, a handful said right next to me. You and today, Dave Ross. That's all I've heard. <laughs> Shout out Dave. Love Dave Ross. Um, yeah, so I like the Niners a little bit more as I did last week after thinking about the game more. Wow. Uh, I think there's been a little bit of an overreaction to this number. I look back to see what I would have made this game if they played it after week 18, and I would have had the 49ers minus six against the Chiefs on a neutral field. Maybe I was too high on the Niners, and you know the defense hasn't been great this playoffs. We saw those two close calls against the Lions a lot, well, two weeks ago, and then the Packers in the first round or first game for the 49ers. But I just like this matchup a lot for the 49ers offense. Mm. We know Kyle Shanahan loves running the ball. His father's Mike Shanahan, who loved running the ball. He has really good run game concepts. He has Christian McCaffrey. It's a Chiefs defense that's not as good against the run. A lot worse, actually, against the run than they are against the pass. And I think that plays into the 49ers' hands. When you have McCaffrey, you have Debo Samuel mixing in. You have Trent Williams, an all-world left tackle. You have George Kittle, who's a great run blocker. So the matchup really suits the 49ers well, in my opinion. I understand why you guys like the Chiefs because it is Patrick Mahomes in the underdog role. But for me, Chiefs I think Nation, the Niners dude. are actually at a at a very good price. I think this game should be 49ers minus three, so at a field goal or better. Two and a half or better. I like the Niners. I guess the question is when do I bet it? Because I know you said there's a lot of Chiefs, you know, support Colby. So maybe But it bounced back to the 49ers like midweek last week. It was going down to the right, Chiefs because, and then people started betting because the 49ers. I think the line or the, you know, the number got too low, um, just in terms of the full season data, which I think is worth at least something, even though the playoffs have been very good for Kansas City. So I might wait till Sunday uh, to bet the Niners, but I'll probably take the Niners' money line. I think this is a good situation where a lot of people are betting the Chiefs' money line, so maybe you can get a Niners like minus 120 because a lot of money is going to be on the Chiefs' money line at anything plus. I am scared too, Colby. I think it's. It's scary. I'm not. It's, there's the interesting thing that I keep bringing up to Monty in the office is MGM came out with a quote last Monday, I believe, and said that San Francisco is such a liability that they are still rooting for the Chiefs no matter what. Which is wow. like, which yeah, is like people like want everything. to fade the public and go like, oh, I got I'm going to take the 49ers. Are you? Is that really the public a, play? A liability in terms of the futures? Yeah. 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 There's a lot of futures. I mean, that makes sense. So they, they were like there's the most bet team for the future. Futures on the 49ers to win the Super Bowl. That is yeah, a significant is. number, and that they're rooting for the Chiefs no matter what. I like to side with the the way this, the board. So would you the say the Chiefs for? are technically the public play? I, I guess I don't know. I don't know. I what think for that this individual consider. game, but I think when the 49ers were on a roll, I mean, I'm sure after they beat the Cowboys at, in that October game where they crushed them, there was a lot of support for the Niners to win the Super Bowl. When they beat the Eagles in Philly, which was a huge statement game for them, I'm sure more money poured in. It may be halted on Christmas Day after they had that uh, disappointing performance, I guess you'd say, against the uh, Ravens. And maybe the Ravens got a lot of uh, you know, future action on that when they kind of guaranteed the one seed in the AFC. But, yeah, it's uh, – I don't know. I don't think there's really a public – or I don't think you should be worried about like a public side swaying your opinion. I think uh, – there's a lot of support for both teams, and I think we might see even a lot more support um, in Vegas, in Nevada, because there are a lot of 49ers fans that live in you know Northern California who go to Reno and influence the, the markets there, as opposed to us here in the Midwest, where we might get 
a different offering. So again, if you want to see our bets on the size and totals and full explanation for why, it's on YouTube at the Stadium YouTube page. But we have new bets. We have some game props that we wanted to get to for the Super Bowl. We have a bunch of props that we gave out last week. We have even more this week. And these are like full game fun props that we wanted to get to. Colby, we'll start with you. What's a game prop in the Super Bowl you're looking at? Oh, no. Uh, the onside kick. <laughs> we'll be an onside kick. This is a 333. Yeah. Um, 333. So I was looking at the game props today, and I came across this, and I got nightmares from when the Saints did it against the Colts like 13 years ago, or whatever. I think it was 2011. Yeah. Uh, no, 2009. I'm sorry. It was 2010. That was the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I was a big Peyton Manning guy back in the day. So I think if Nate's right, if the 49ers are going to be up by at least a touchdown or more, that the Chiefs are going to have to fight back and have to kick an onside kick. I don't know. And I never said they're going to be up. A no, 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 no. You more. said the 49ers are going to win. This game. Right, we'll, we'll turn back the tape. Yeah, say my, we'll run it back. Turn it back on Nate. My, my game prop, and I, you know, I don't want to. You can go first, Ben. But go for it. Go for it. We'll go out of order. It's fine. No, no, like, no. You stay with I mean, Monty it. Needs it. All right, all right, I'll, go. I'll go. My game prop is for the game to be tied after 0-0. So I think, again, because of the closeness of the spread, I think that we're going to see a uh, – you don't like that bet? Monty's giving me the thumbs down. I don't think I've ever gotten a thumbs up from Monty before. It's either the Never finger or a thumbs down. I think this game is going to be tied after 0-0. These teams are so close – in ability and coaching, and they really play similar styles of football. I think we, we see a field goal maybe on the first drive, get a field goal on the second drive. We've seen it a lot in Chiefs games where they'll score first or they'll let up a score first, and then they'll go right back and score. I, I, it's just the way the Chiefs play. This Again, with the 49ers and how similar these two teams are, I think we see a tie game after the game starts. I'll be rooting for that bet because my game prop for this segment is largest lead of the game under 14 and a half points. You do have to lay a little bit of juice, minus 145, but you mentioned you think this is kind of a close game. That's indicated in the point spread. And I also think it might be a little bit of a lower scoring game where I would lean under in this game. So if there's not going to be a lot of points, that means I don't think a team is going to get out to a big margin. So uh, if, if for the onside kick, it, crowd. Could, it could be bad if there's an onside kick of this game. I'd probably end up losing unless there's like some late stuff. Uh, maybe the only team gets up like 10 or something. and will be up 14, too. Possible. Yeah, 14. Still, you, you, you both Super win. Super Bowl. I got to root for my chaos bet. Yeah, you could both win. It is a big – I would say there's 13 and a half out there. Make sure to pay up for the 14 and a half. That's a big deal with this bet. For sure. All right. Uh, we have one more thing to end, and it is Monty's bet, Ooh. and he usually Ooh. does the Iowa bet of the week. Ooh. So this is Iowa-related Super Bowl bet from Monty. What do you like? It is not. Iowa it's not, it's not Iowa related? Not fake. I, oh, I thought it was Iowa related. It was supposed to be, fake but... Spike by Monty. I'm going a different route, yeah. Okay. I just... George Kittle has been so inconsistent all season. I just didn't want to touch. Fair. So, this is kind of my favorite Super Bowl bet. And just an alternative to betting Mahomes to win MVP. I'm on the Chiefs like everybody else, except for Nate and Dave Ross. Uh, <laughs> so Shout out, Dave. I think if Mahomes... You know, if the Chiefs win, I think Mahomes will be MVP. If... That's going to happen. He's going to have to have two plus passing touchdowns and the Chiefs are going to have to win, obviously. So you just SGP that you get plus 170, which is higher than Mahomes twin MVP at every single book. I imagine at least anywhere that I've seen it. Mm-hmm. And he's had two passing touchdowns in both the Super Bowl wins. So I don't see how this doesn't happen uh, if the Chiefs win. So I'm on the Chiefs. That's the route I'm going. Trying to get a better number than the market. I like it. You like MVP. You might as well just pick Mahomes to play a really good game. And you were seven and seven, so this is to go above five hundred too. So that's kind of big. That's true. I need it. Does that count the citrus bowl? It does count the stupid citrus bowl. This is for above five hundred and plus units on the year. So this is this is big. This is Monty Super Bowl. Big comeback. Right? Scared. This is Monty. I hope, I hope you lose. <laughs> Everyone's also. <scared>. That's me. <laughs> I hope you lose. Well, the, the, I care about my pocket more, book more than mine. This selfish show record. Like, I don't care what it. What, what is your bet? No. I, <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're going to break. We'll be back in uh, just a moment. We have a lot more props. We're going to get to uh, some fun novelty props as well. That's all coming up next. Stadium bets. Welcome back to Stadium Bets. We're uh, talking Super Bowl bets. We have our novelty props now that we wanted to get to because it's not the Super Bowl without without some novelty props. The first one up that we wanted to talk about, the coin toss, a classic, heads or tails. Uh, Nate, we will start with you yes. for this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go 50-50. tails. I always go tails. Uh, always. Why, Nate? Why? 
Don't Always say it. Plus hundred. Don't, Don't say it. it. Someone has told me tails nope. never fail. <gasps> uh, We're gonna bleep that out. I I treat. I kind of was looking at the, the history of the uh, coin toss for this game, and it, it kind of reminded me of a a roulette board between red and black. And uh, we had tails last year, but we had a couple heads a year before that. So I'm gonna go uh, tails here. Who that has hit in seven of the last ten Super Bowls and is thirty and twenty seven all time. So gonna go with the tails. Colby, how, what, are, what are we doing here? Just, what are we doing here? Let that we're roll, listening to this. Hey, let man. that roll out of your mouth. Just, oh, 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 disgusting. <laughs> said it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it before. I'll say it again. Use your head. Yep. Bet heads. Ben, right? Yeah. Use your head. Bet heads. Fade the public. Right it's there. Plus, everyone, it's plus everyone money on some books. Tails. Yeah. Every, <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's over plus hundred. I got plus one hundred yesterday. <laughs> That's not over. That's good. Plus That's money. I said it's or. It's even money. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't open even a book. money for heads. I would say, if, if you gave me plus 101, I would bet head. <laughs> <laughs> Not an even? I mean, no. I like tail. But don't take minus 110 for these. That's the only, that's or, the yeah. only like, piece of... If you don't have the book you. that offers plus 110 on a coin flip, just turn to your friend at the bar <laughs> at your Super Bowl party and see what they want to do. Offer them even money. And just bet the opposite. And yeah. That's the old Nate book. Yeah, it is. You can um, just pay him cash right away. Other novelty props. First team to call a timeout. This one gets a little more strategical. Uh, are we starting, Nate? You starting with this one? Yeah, I, I try to figure out an angle for this one. It was really hard. The 49ers haven't called a timeout in their two playoff games, with, uh, unless it was like under two minutes when it was, you know, you're calling timeouts to, to save time on the clock. The Chiefs did use a first quarter timeout against the Dolphins, but didn't use any early timeouts against the Bills and Ravens. I even look back at Super Bowl history, and there can't wasn't. Believe you have all this. There this wasn't too nuts. much early timeouts from Andy Reid and the Chiefs. I think even last year, I bet the Chiefs to have the first timeout against the Eagles and lost that. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs here. I do just think the 49ers offensively maybe have a little bit more. I wouldn't say knowledge, but like they kind of know what they're going to do. Where it's going to be a lot of running the ball. There's not going to be a lot of complex plays, and I can see the Chiefs maybe running something where there's a little bit of confusion from them. Um, and Andy Reid, who before he was winning Super Bowls, was known as a, a coach who wasn't great at clock management. Uh, maybe he goes back to his old roots and calls an early timeout. 100%. I, I go with Kansas City in this one. That's why I have the Chiefs. I mean, one guy's known for really bad clock management in the past, so you might as well. At this point, I mean, it's not a coin toss, but it's. Yeah. I think I think the Chiefs are going to be the first one to call a timeout, and simply because Andy Reid loves calling timeouts. He loves getting things correct. And we've seen – I don't have the numbers for how many timeouts they've called in the playoffs, but – this seems this this is a heart. It's a plum play. Uh, it, as this, Colby this would say. It's a plum block play. Is plums. Come on. <laughs> uh, the only time I really Wait had for a the good, next. One. I mean, he's got stats. Oh for yeah, it, so yeah, I don't know. Fear plums. Uh, the only time I had a really good feel for this was uh, when McVay was in the Super Bowl. That dude loves timeouts. Yeah, <laughs> loves it. That was that was actually we bet that Love, I think it was easy timeouts. money when it was McVay, first quarter. He called a timeout. Taylor or was this McVay uh, Belichick five years ago? Yeah, dude loves timeouts. It was against the Bengals. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ride with the Chiefs here. Just. Andy Reid's going to be like, oh, sorry, Monty. Sorry, Monty. Sweeping the board like that, here with the panel. <laughs> Go ahead, say something. Uh, yeah, we want to hear. Can't have for one 49ers here? Okay, fine. Nah, we Switch can't. it. Nope. 49ers. Who it's cares? Hey, it's, yeah, it's too late. It's, too late. Oh, it's already up there. It's part of, well, Andy it's part Reed, of history. This is, this is what I was saying. Andy Reid's going to be like, all right, guys. All right, guys. Calm down. Let's regroup. Patrick, yeah. go ahead and talk like you're Well, Kermit. I don't know if they'll need to be calmed down. I think they'll be all right. But I think they're going to mess something up. I think it's more because of that. Darius Tony walks in there on accident. You got to call timeout. <laughs> Kadarius, yeah, what are you doing? doing. Get back very here. Very likely. He's lined up offsides. <laughs> there there go. he goes again. Kadarius, come on. Lot. That's perfect. Um, all right, let's go to the next and final novelty prompt that we have. And, of course, we have to end this one with the Gatorade color that gets poured on the winning coach. Lots to choose from. One favorite, and I believe it's purple across the board is the favorite, I think, at most sports books. Yeah, we actually, find. on the side panels, we have that uh, the top five for yeah, there the we go. Gatorade bath color. Color of Gatorade bath. All right, uh, Colby, start with you. Color. Not red, because that's too easy. Okay. Both teams are red. And Taylor Swift. Of course. Uh, it's sure not going to be orange because, what is this, the logo of Gatorade? Get out of here. It's always been purple. Give me purple. Purple, 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 yes. purple, purple. Purple people eaters. Purple. Also, the Chiefs won last year, and they poured purple Gatorade. So I can't imagine they're not superstitious. They're going to want to put the purple Gatorade back for this year. Good luck. They win. They pour the purple one. Plus 275. 
Give me it. Easy money. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, Does Monty no. want to say something? Imagine betting the favorite. <laughs> Here. What Just would saying. you pick, Smarty? Uh, Matt, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's okay, Mr. Not Mr. Favorite. Oh, now I want to talk now. Give, give yeah. me blue or orange. It's here. been blue. It's been orange. blue. Have you or seen the Gatorade logo? Seven it's orange. Of the last 10 you have, years. You have stats it's for been this? Blue or orange. Seven of the last 10? He's got another yeah. show, guys. He cares about more. That means that that's what they're going to be expecting. So purple it is. Come on. Purple's the <laughs> okay. obvious uh, correct answer. Go yeah. ahead, Nate. Um, I'm going to go orange because Kyle Shanahan was asked at the opening night on Monday what his favorite Gatorade is or Gatorade flavor is, and oh, he said really? orange. Then so they followed up and asked, what do you drink on game day? And he said water. So I was like, maybe take, because you not listed on the odds there. No clear. Water is plus 1,100. There's also no Gatorade bath plus uh, or 20 to 1, so plus 2,000. I was also thinking maybe the 49ers would be so excited when they win the Super Bowl <laughs> because it's been so long, and Don't Shanahan finally did it, that he's gonna, they're going to forget to dump Gatorade on him. But because Shanahan said orange is his favorite flavor, maybe we have some orange Gatorade on the sideline. I'm, I like the Niners, so I think that's the uh, – a practical choice for this uh, this fun novelty prop. It's a stupid Purple handicap. Purple zero. Best um, let's uh, take a break. We've got our favorite long shot bet. So if you like plus money bets, you're going to love this segment. And then our best bets for Super Bowl weekend. That's all coming up next. Welcome back. Stadium bets entering the final block of the NFL season. of Stadium bets, boys, which is, means we got best bets and we got our longest shot bets for the Super Bowl. So let's start with the longest shot bets. These are, what do we decide? Plus 500 or more? Is that what we were doing? Something like that? Those were kind of the dynamics. Whatever it is, they're all plus 500 or more. Uh, Nate, we'll start with you. What is your favorite long shot bet of the Super Bowl? I mentioned last week, I like Debo Samuel a lot in this game. I bet him to win Super Bowl MVP. So this is going to be a way to bet on Debo Samuel to do big things. And it's his receiving plus rushing yards him to have the most of those in the game. So most receiving wow. plus rushing yards, plus 650. I do think he's going to be a big part of this run game just because the 49ers are going to run the ball. They're going to use Debo to spell McCaffrey when he needs a breather. It's also smart to use Debo because you pay him a lot of money. He's played running back in the past, and he's the most dynamic player on the field. He's big, physical, hard to tackle. I don't think there's going to be a lot of big explosive touchdowns in this game, but I think between the 20s, Debo is going to feast in this game. Short passes, jet sweeps. They're going to find ways to use Debo Samuel, especially because the chief strength is their perimeter cornerbacks. But Debo, for the most part, or he lines up, he can line up in the slot a lot. And I think a guy like Brandon Ayuk might be kind of taken away, but that leads to a lot of Debo stats. And that's why I'm going with this as my long shot bet. I'm going to go with a classic Kansas City Chiefs thing that they do in these games. And that's for the Chiefs to be trailing in the fourth quarter and then to come back and win. At five to one, um, they've already That's done this spicy. in a Super Bowl against that the 49ers. Is a great bet! Thank you, Monty's giving me a you thumbs up. You got the up. script. I love it. This is the script. The Chiefs are going to be down either entering the fourth quarter or lose the lead in the fourth quarter and then come back. A couple reasons why. Again, they've already done it in a Super Bowl against the 49ers. Also, Patrick Mahomes is one of the best come from behind quarterbacks the NFL has ever seen. He's 13 and nine when trailing by double digits. So not only is he good coming from behind, but when it's double digits. He gets his teams to wins even when they're trailing that by that much. So at plus 500, Chiefs are going to be down at some point in the fourth quarter. They're going to come back. They're going to win. Great for my Chiefs money line bet. Great for plus 500. I love it. It's great. And you're you're basically John Stockton because you just always dish out little. I guess he doesn't set up the pass. You just set me up real well because we're taking the octopus. <laughs> that's just perfect because that's how the Chiefs are going to win. The Chiefs are going to win it on the octopus. Uh, uh, what is the octopus? embarrassing, embarrassing know. thing to submit? Uh, when I originally you don't know what bet, it is? well, I know what it is, but I don't think a lot of people know what. No, it no, is. we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Originally, when I bet this, I thought it was for a fan to throw an octopus out on the field, because you know they do that. Uh, and th- uh, I hope you're. I hope that's a at, joke. No, it's at not. Hockey games <laughs> at hockey games in Detroit. Yeah, it's but not, not a at joke. NFL football but, games. But, but, oh my god, the octopus <laughs> did happen last year, and octopus is when. Say Travis Kelsey scores a touchdown, and then they go for two, and Travis Kelsey gets the two-point conversion. It's that same player to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion. It happened last year, and it's going to happen again. That's exactly how the Chiefs are going to win on the octopus. That's a high number, too. Let's go, octopus. 
I would bet a lot of money there won't even be a two-point conversion attempt in this game, so this has no shot of happening. It, it happened last what? year because Jalen Hurts was the player who did it, and he's very good in those short yardage situations. Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey win MVP. Let's go to best bets, Juana. I was gonna say, watch there be no, uh, watch there be no two-point conversions, but someone throws an octopus on the field. That would that just be should unfortunate. Count. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. All right, best bets time. This is our favorite bets. In the Super Bowl, it's all coming out of this final game of the year. Our favorite bets, Colby. We'll go right back to you. What do you like? Just, I was trying to set myself up for it. Uh, Travis Kelsey Stop, over his receiving yard prop. I love it. This is my favorite play in the Super Bowl. You can push the Chiefs money line to the side. This is my favorite play. He's done it in every single playoff game, dating back to the last time these two faced off in the Super Bowl. Ooh, baby! Stars show up at the when the lights are bright. In the last two games, the 49ers have allowed the biggest stars on the teams they face to get over this number. Give me Travis Kelsey to go over his prop and to win MVP and the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl because they're going to do it, baby. You're crazy. I am going to go with my favorite bet under four and a half total sacks in the Super Bowl. Both of these quarterbacks are very difficult to sack. Patrick Mahomes was sacked the second least in the NFL this season. San Francisco's okay at getting the quarterback, but on the flip side, offensively, Brock Purdy. Again, he's not very easy for other teams to take down. The Chiefs are middle of the road when it comes to second quarterbacks. Brock Purdy has finally uh, found his legs and is able to get out of sticky situations using his feet. I don't think there's five sacks in this game. So I love this bet. Under four and a half, quarterbacks are going to escape pressure all day. And I hinted this last week, but I have my best bet is first half to be higher scoring than the second half. I don't think there's going to be a lot of nerves with these teams because they're used to big game situations. I also think there's going to be really good game scripts from both teams on offense. There's other ways to bet this too. You can bet under second half before the game starts. You can bet Chiefs to have more points in the first half than second half. But for the best bet, first half to be higher scoring than the second half. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been fun. We've done how many shows, Nate? 24, 25? Or 24th. 24th. Look, he's out of his box. You're in the oh, studio. You guys. He's in the studio. You guys. This is crazy. Episodes. 24 episodes. 24. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, God. And thank you to Monty over there also. Monty, show your face. We love it. Monty, show the face. You got like 10 seconds. Hey, Bye. Mom. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thank you for Grandma. watching. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right. We'll be, we'll be back at some point with March Madness everything else. Thank you for watching.